Hi guys. So for tonight's dinner, we are having tuna noodle casserole. Now I know there's a, a ton of different ways to make this. So this one is just my way. Um, trying to think. So this is going to take a few minutes. We've got to boil our noodles and then we are going to uh, uh, bake it, mix it all together, bake it for about 20, 25 minutes, take it out, stir it, bake it for another 10. Now on this, we usually always have French fried onions on top, but since I don't have any, we're, sh we're out of luck this time. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get started. Okay guys, for our tuna noodle, ca noodle casserole, I have out my... What is this? 11 by 15 by 11 by 15 casserole dish, and it's so big because I want to be able to stir. So you, you guys don't have to have this. You can just do a normal 13 by 9. We're gonna need a cheese log, a little bit of sour cream, two 10 and a half ounce cans of cream of mushroom, two five ounce cans of tuna. I have a 15 ounce can of peas, which is completely optional. A bag of egg noodles. And a chopped onion. So, to get started, the very first thing is we're going to get this water boiling for our noodles. And after we get our water going, we're going to drain the tuna and the can of peas. I like peas in my tuna casserole. He doesn't. It's no big deal, I guess, but if it was up to me, I'd add another can of peas in there. Keep going. Alright. So I'm going to get this boiling. Okay. We save our tuna juice for our outside kitties. So get my little strainer. The onion I chopped up earlier, whew, it was really strong. So now my eyes are running, my nose is running. Get all that tuna out of there. I'm just going to squish this down a little bit, try to get as much of that juice, juice out as I can. Not getting it all out because I would like to keep some of it. Okay, so now we drain our peas. just wait get my noodles boiling and we'll be back all right so the water's boiling I'm just gonna dump this whole bag in here all right now we just let them boil we'll be back in a minute all right, so my noodles are done. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off and drain them. And we're gonna put them right back in the pot. My big strainer, uh-oh, is in the, uh, you got it? Mm -hmm. Thank you, sis. 
is in the dishwasher. or the water out of that. Mushroom. Come on. There it is. <laughs> There's my little thing. I think my little rubber spatula is in the dishwasher, too. All right. Second can. Ooh, it flung. The second can. <laughs> Um, this I did forget to mention at the beginning, you are going to need a little milk. So all I'm doing is just filling one of these cans up with some milk. adding a third of a cup. So there's a third. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. For my cheese log, I'm going to start off by about a quarter of the log. I'm going to cube this. We'll see how that looks. Actually, I'm going to stir it before I start putting that in. Handle's a little hot. Get everything good and mixed. You see good, sis? Mm -hmm. So while I've got all this going on, I'm going to go ahead and preheat my oven, 350, start, oops, lost a noodle, it's 
Smells good already. All right, let me get my cheese. <laughs> Giggling. <laughs> so, <laughs> stir this in. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more. Maybe about that much, not too much. All right. So now, for, I we always put jerky or deep fried onions on top of these. You know the onions that you put on top of uh, uh, green bean casserole. But we don't have any. And I dug and dug and dug and I cannot find it. Alright. So now, I'm going to dump all of this into my big old casserole dish. stuff out of there. Okay. So now we let it bake for 20 to 30 minutes. So basically all we're doing is melting this cheese. Oh, and then we're gonna come back <laughs> we're gonna come back and then we're gonna give it a good stir and that's why I wanted my nice big pan all right so now I'm gonna put it in the oven and we'll see you guys in about 20 to 25 minutes all right so it's been about 25 minutes so I'm gonna take this out I'm gonna stir it See the cheese all melted? Oops, I lost a noodle. Dang it. Throw this in about 10 more minutes. Like I said, at this point, if you have some um, of those dirty onions, put them on now and go ahead and throw it back in the oven for about 15 minutes. But I'm just gonna go ahead and throw mine in for only about 10 minutes because I don't have my onions. Or my, yeah, my french fried onions. Okay, see you in 10 minutes. Alrighty, it's been 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. And there is our tuna casserole. And stir this up a little more.
pea stuck on there wouldn't come off. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and plate it. Are you hungry, Jalen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you want some more of that? Yeah. And there we go. There is our tuna casserole. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And uh, leave me a comment and tell me what you guys put in yours. I love the peas. He doesn't, but there's not that many. <laughs> so uh, that's it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.